Heidi Ho YouTubers. Mrs. New America now recently posted a two-part video series titled No Hope. In these videos she relayed the story of a conversation with a lady who refused to give up hope for her son. Mrs. Nan stated that she herself refused to let her children engage in thoughts of hope, wishing, dreaming, or wanting. I can see where her feelings come from. Here in the so-called prepper community we thrive on doom and gloom. A brown dwarf sun is going to come sweeping by and strip all the atmosphere off of this rock that we live on. The poles are going to shift. All the land will be awash with seawater and will all be buried in a plastic coffin just outside the gates of a concentration camp. We're drawn to this stuff like moths to a candle. We thrive on it as if we were once again teenagers watching the latest Freddy Krueger slasher movie. It's that little injection of adrenaline, that tiny splash of endorphins when we contemplate such things. We're addicted to it. Nobody really knows what the future holds. All we can do is try to determine the odds, weigh the consequences of the future's possibilities and try to prepare for the worse. Yes, well, hoping for the best. We who are engaged in this prepper game are really in the insurance business. We're trying to insure our survival, some quality of life in our future, weighed against the possibilities of the future possibly turning grim on us. If something happens that we just can't prepare for, then so be it. We must turn to our faith in whatever higher power we happen to believe in. The lady that Mrs. Nan said wouldn't give up for her hope for her son was Mrs. Goat Hollow. I posted a video book review a while back of a book titled Prepper's Road March, part of a trilogy written by a Ron Foster. After that first review, the author Ron contacted me with his thanks, and since then we've conversed and become good friends. I couldn't put those books down because they told the story of a different kind of future, one with hope. Ron's a prolific writer, and he's recently been churning out a series of novelettes, short stories to tell what became of the Prepper's Road March characters. He sent me an advanced copy the other day of his latest work, and wanted my opinion. It's titled A Prepper's View of Societal Collapse. I stayed up until the wee hours of the morning reading it. I contacted Ron, and I've convinced him to offer this novelette for free to you, my subscribers. Free. Until September 15th. I'll post the link below. I thought it was important to share this story with you because Ron paints a beautiful picture in this short story. A group of people coping with just about the worst SHTF scenario you could think of, yet a world of hope still reigning supreme, where dreams still exist, where life can go on. I told Ron that I was going to get you hooked on his work, so by all means, please, please, 
buy some of his other work. He makes it so inexpensive to our community that you can download the entire Prepper's Road March trilogy for less than the price of a Big Mac combo. I guarantee you that you're going to feed your soul much, much better than that hamburger would fill your belly. At the end of almost every video I've ever posted, I include the words, we'll get through this. My, the comments I've had on that one little phrase, do you still believe? Some of us will, but most won't. If you're watching this video, it means that you do have hope. We wouldn't prepare if we didn't feel we could improve our odds, insure ourselves against whatever the future holds. Every tiny little step we take down that preparation road improves our odds greatly. Mrs. New America now and I are good friends, and we can certainly agree to disagree, but I have my suspicions that she still holds hope deep within her heart. She keeps on prepping, and is an extraordinary prepper. Do subscribe to her channel, because you'll probably learn something that's what the YouTube prepper community is all about. Sharing, learning, and helping one another through the rough spots when thoughts of brown dwarf stars get us feeling a little down. As for Mrs. Goat Hollow and me, we'll keep hoping for a future for ourselves, wishing for a decent life for our son dreaming of the possibilities after SHTF because life will be what we make of it and wanting the opportunities to make that life possible. Download the free novelette below. You'll be shown a new way of looking at the future. Buy some of Ron Foster's work. You will be uplifted. Subscribe to Mrs. Nan. You'll be inspired, and never, ever, ever forget that with a little perseverance and effort, we can get through this.